we are still in the process and we will continue to receive feedback. A lot of feedback will be coming from the public, uh, whether through the different groups or directly, um, really all forms, uh, we, are, we are quite open to it, or on our website. Um, there, the, obviously, we have started also removing the tracks. So we will close off um, stretches of it, um, but the thing is, once that's done, we will reopen it. Okay. Um, we also do note that um, there are historical significance. So, like I said, the uh, Tanjung Pagar Railway Station, Bukit Timah Railway Station, that those are kept. The bridges, just to make clear, the one at Dunian Road, Upper Bukit Timah Road, the very iconic ones, are kept. So they are being hoarded up. I think largely because of safety reasons. Well, the tracks are being removed because, as part of the agreement, we have to return it to the Malaysians. And there is a deadline, which is 31st December, which is quite pressing. Um, partly it's a very long railway line, well, I mean, it's long by our standards, 26 kilometres or so. There's a lot of rail to remove, but just to be sure we're not removing everything. The, the consultation group, or oh, that's what we've called ourselves, huh? um, basically comprises, I think, some of the members you see here. Um, I think there are three, three main objectives that we have. One, I think, is to provide inputs, exchange ideas for development plans for the area. Okay. Secondly, is to give feedback on suggestions received from the public. So again, whether through their NGOs or through the various websites, our website and so on, to also consider what this feedback are and how, how do we deal with it. It also play an advisory role to URA in its public engagement program. Uh, we do intend to engage a wide segment of Singaporeans from all walks of life. This is one space where it represents a, a certain kind of uh, local knowledge um, that you know maybe certain kinds of herbs are use, useful for certain kinds of things. I think definitely I think uh, as part of local knowledge I think we, we definitely should really uh, tap on their expertise and find out what uh, you know, these can mean for the rest of Singaporeans. Because I think along the way uh, a lot of these very uh, homemade cures and things that are based on plants you know, are lost. Maybe we can learn from them as well. Not just planning and feedback is probably one part of it, but exactly what it is that we're seeing, experiencing, and uh, um, preserving. I mean, I think that that's, the, I guess, the job of all of us to uh, contribute to one of the challenges. <laughs>